Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So we are going to open up two six-star crystals, five Cavalier crystals, but first I wanted to show you the ending of 6.2.5. This is actually the first time I fought Mordo with Void. Every other time I use Ghost to just um, brute force it. Uh, if I had Hood, I could just tank the special threes. I got solos, but when I started doing the gated paths, that became a little bit more difficult and impossible, in fact, uh, with some of the gates. Well, this is the final gate. It was the Cosmic, and I brought Void on recommendation from videos that I saw, and then I looked up some videos to see how they did the fight. And uh, I watched uh, Brian Grant, and this is how he did this fight. Now, I already had one attempt with Void, my very first attempt with Void, and I got him down about halfway. So I was thinking, all right, I should be able to get him down the rest of the way uh, with a revive and, you know, healing up a, a little bit. All right, so the basic strategy here is to let the debuffs do the work. And you're kind of subject to RNG. Uh, you want to get Petrifies up early, but you have no control over that. So you basically parry him, parry him. You don't want to have to deal with the Do Not Gentle. Uh, so that's why you don't see me hitting him. You know, we're just parrying him and letting the D-Gens go uh, and take his health down. Uh, but, of course, I'm not used to fighting this style. And every once in a while, I'll look up to see, you know, what my health is looking like, because I am running suicides, and then Mordo might do something that I wasn't expecting or throw me off. Uh, but eventually my health is going to go down. That's why I healed up a little bit. Uh, when he goes to his power gain phase, you know, I back him up. But if you have uh, a couple of petrifies on you, you're not going to have to worry about his uh, power gain. He's not going to gain any power. All right. See his bars? Empty. All right. So we've almost got him. And I just want to, you know, get him down as low as possible. Because if I can't get him down, and I was looking up at my health here, and I'm like, oh, man, he's just whittling me down. I can't keep um, taking blocked hits and, and parrying him. So here, you see, I'm just trying to evade, evade. Oh, I almost got caught there, uh, but I'm just trying to evade. I parried him, but now my suicides are going to take me out. Okay, right there. You know, it is what it is, but we got him down quite a bit. So that was uh, one revive that I used to revive uh, my void and now I'm gonna go in again all right healing him up a little bit and I'm like okay I shouldn't need a lot of help he's almost gone right so we should be able to get him down uh, pretty easily here using that same uh, strategy all right but I didn't anticipate my fatigue I've been playing for quite a while I just came off of a grind for Odin, putting up 80 million points. And so I'm a little tired. It's also after midnight when I was doing this and I got caught by his special one because I wasn't looking. I was like, oh wait, how's my health doing? And he caught me. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not reviving anymore. He's almost gone. Yes, the strength in numbers is annoying, but I got Corvus and Corvus should be able to take him down pretty easily. So get some blocked hits and we go in. All right. Now I've got the uh, charge up. So I need to do a heavy boom. Did the heavy, got rid of the charge and he went down nice and easy. Um, so yeah, it took me a couple of revives, but not that big of a deal. And we are now done with 6.2.5. Uh, from what I've heard, it's like the worst chapter quest in all of Act 6. All right, so all we have left now is 6.4, and I think we just did completions there. All right, so we're gonna 
have the opening now. And uh, hopefully you will enjoy the opening as much as I did. All right. So we'll be right back in a moment. All right, let's get to the crystal opening. We're gonna start with these five Cavalier crystals that I got from uh, Fully Exploring 6.2, all right? And these Cavalier crystals are the new drop rate Cavalier crystals. Let's take a look at the drop rates. This is the updated, Kabam just updated this uh, April 1st. You're going to be watching this on April the 2nd. And I just completed uh, Act 6.2.5, which gave me a full exploration of 6.2. And I got the new drop rates on these Cavaliers. Uh, any existing Cavaliers that you have won't be upgraded, but any that you get going forward, like I just got these, will have the new drop rates. So let's just spin it out. And quite frankly, I don't have um, really high expectations, but I would love to get a six star Nexus. I would love to get a new six star crystal um, or a six star champion. If I can't, the only five star that I want really right now would be Human Torch. Uh, every other five star, I already have, all right? First one, see what we got. New drop rates. Hmm, that looks just like the old drop rates. But it's the first one. So let's roll it again. We're just priming it up, getting it, you know, get the juices flowing for the crystal. Get all the bad stuff out of the way first because we're gonna open up two six star crystals. And we're hoping for something good. There's a level up event going on right now. And I would love to get another new champion to level up and rank up. Hoping uh, for a tech, to be honest with you, because I have a lot of tech catalysts in my overflow. Uh, so I need to do something with those uh, soon. I think I have like 11 of them. Uh, we'll take a look uh, a little bit later. All right. Second updated Cavalier Crystals. And, okay, a five-star Nexus is not bad. We will open that one up. All right, let's keep going. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Again, the only five-star I'm really looking for is Human Torch. But from that Nexus, we might get them. Uh, most likely, we're going to get a dupe. But there's a chance chance to get human torch all right i see some six stars in there i wouldn't mind pulling if it's a new six star you know give it to me uh any new six star would be phenomenal uh also if i could awaken one of the six stars that i'm desperate to awaken like corvus or ghost that would also be phenomenal all right slowing down what do we got New drop rates, new drop rates. Keep going, keep going. Okay, it didn't, it didn't keep going. All right, but we did get a five-star Nexus, so that's not bad. Um, the rest of these, I would be mad if I paid uh, money or uh, units for these. But we have done it in the past. We'll probably do uh, that again. And, you know, just for entertainment, you know, I might get bored one day and just feel like, using up some units um but we'll see haven't done it in a while though all right you know what let's go ahead and tap that let's see what we got all right at least it's a four star uh and that will give me more five star shards and the reason that's important is again i'm still hunting for a human torch as a five or a six star and i can open up a bunch of uh, science mystic uh, dual crystals and try to get him that way so more five star shards will give me more uh, opportunities to get that human torch all right you know what let's tap it 
and see what we got. Last one. All that work. I wouldn't have minded uh, duping my Magneto as a six star. Definitely wouldn't have. All right, so before we go any further, let's go ahead and open up that, because I will forget, uh, open up that uh, Nexus. Okay. Five-star hero. Oh, did they put that? Uh, I really, really don't like how they do that. Um, and I'm remembering now that, yeah, it's always been over here. There it is. Yeah, they always do that. All right, let's just uh, see what we got. All right, no uh, Human Torch. And we've got Black Widow, Deadly Origins, Gambit, Nightcrawler. Um, as you can see, they are all awakened already. <clears throat> I don't even know. I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm not sure whose SIG ability is uh, worth uh, investing in. But five stars, six stones, you know, they come pretty, pretty regularly now. So I'm going to go with uh, the lowest one. Let's get uh, Black Widow Deadly Origins some uh, levels. All right. So one five star pretty much out of those Cavaliers for exploring Act 6.2. All right. Now, let's get over here. And we are going to go ahead and open up this Cavalier. One last one, and then we are going to uh, tackle those six stars. And hope we get a new six star. Would not be mad at a new six star. All right. Let's see what we got here. A six star Warlock would be nice. Wouldn't mind that. I see Corvus in there, too. Wouldn't mind that either. All right. Tap it. Taking too long. What do we got? Last Cavalier. And it's a four-star. So if you're thinking that with these new drop rates, you're going to go ham on these Cavalier crystals, they still don't look like they are worth spending a lot of units on but with the increased drop rates should be you know a little bit better for you guys that do like to gamble and go for these things but from what i've seen uh i'll wait till they update the um featured cavalier ones and then we'll see uh if some champion comes along that i really want all right Let's start with the six star crystal and then we'll do the dual class one. All right, so let's grab it and let me pop up the champions that I want the most out of this crystal. All right, so you can see off to the left, you know, I want Doom, I want Silver Surfer. I want Cosmic Ghost Rider. I want Apocalypse as a six star. I have him as a five star. Um, I also have uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider as a five star and Doom as a five star. Uh, in fact, the only one that I don't have as a five star uh, is Human Torch. But I want any of those as a six star. As far as awakenings go, I want to awaken my Corvus so bad. Ghost, so bad. Uh, I have awakened my um, Omega Red. However, I do want more dupes on Omega Red because the higher his SIG, the more useful he will be. I have one dupe on him and he's not going to overtake the damage of my five star until I have a few more dupes. Sorcerer Supreme, I took up to rank two. She is awesome. Would not mind awakening her. Um, and of course I said Ghost. 
and Thing. I have Thing at rank two. He's not awakened. Uh, I would love to get a lot of Sig Stones or a lot of Sig Levels on him. All right. Let us go ahead and spin that out. And we're not going to touch it. Uh, I, If I can't get any of those that you see up there, uh, any new six star would be phenomenal. Um, honestly, uh, any new six star is going to help me. I'm an arena grinder. So more points in the arena means less grinding that I have to do. Uh, so let's get a new champion or get one of the ones that I'm looking for. There's plenty of six star champions I don't have that I would love to get that are not up there. All right. What do we got? Slowing down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, he's a right next to, ooh. That ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. Y'all are mean. Y'all are really mean. Um, yeah, and that's a double dupe. So that's the worst possible outcome. Uh, he doesn't, I mean, his, his um, higher SIG is okay. And he did put in some work for me, so I'm not as upset with Winter Soldier, but the fact that I already had him awakened, he's not doing me any good. You know, that other dupe on him is not doing me any good. I'm not going to take him to rank three anytime soon. All right, so that's a dud. Um, and of course, you know, we don't get any uh, other shards for that. All right, now this one here, we got for 3,000 units, and you saw what happened just now. So you know my expectations are not high. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see what we got. Uh, and of course, who I want out of here will be any of the cosmic or techs that you see already listed. So Cosmic Ghost Rider, I would love. Silver Surfer, I would love. Warlock, I would love. Um, I would love to awaken my ghost. I would love to awaken Corvus, okay? Those would be the big boy prizes out of this. Uh, if I can't get that, I just want any new champion. Double dupes don't really help me. Um, first time awakenings are okay if there's someone that, you know, I can use. Uh, um, Captain Marvel movie, that would be another one that's not on the list. All right, let's see what we got. Somebody new, keep going, keep going. Yes! Yes! Finally! It was worth it. 3,000 units was worth it, guys. I saw that com uh, Cosmic, I keep wanting to call her Cosmic, but I saw the Captain Marvel movie, and I was going, oh my goodness, I'm going to get a new Captain Marvel movie. And then I saw that was a nice rollover. This was actually the most I could have hoped for in terms of dupes. That's who I wanted to awaken. Now my six star Corvus can put in some work because he just needs to be awakened. He doesn't need high sig or anything like that. He just needed to be awakened. And he's already ranked three. That is sweet. Um, for prestige, Silver Surfer would have been great Doom would have been great. But when it comes to dupes, that was my most wanted of my most wanted dupes. So, whew. so that is awesome. Let me uh, take this away. That is so sweet, man. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. 3,000 units well spent. I know some people got duds, but for me... That was the best 3,000 units I spent. And I told people before, when we were discussing, you know, whether to go for this or not, it depends on your roster, your needs, and how often you get in these six-star shards. And see, I'm not in a master level alliance. So I don't get six stars in very often. So that was an opportunity for me to dupe my Corvus or my Ghost or to get a prestige option, you know? So the first one was a dud, 
But the second one, that was a banger. So take care, everyone. And you all have a blessed day.